even at 0.25 playback speed is way too fast. I know you said this is not meant as a tutorial, but it helps so much. Please consider re-uploading at slower playback. Jack Solomon 9513 Jack, I've got you covered. Here is an updated video per your request. This video includes a step-by-step -step narration detailing the process to create panel lines on a curved surface for your model. I'll save the rivets for another video as that is a much longer process. The overview of the process is as follows. Insert a canvas for reference. Create a curved surface. Trace panel lines from our reference material. Project the tracings onto the curved surface. And finally, cut the surface using the projected lines as a template. Inserting your reference material as a canvas. Use the Insert Canvas command found in the Insert menu at the top. Import your image and pick a plane. I prefer a bird's eye view as if I'm at a building table. While the canvas menu is still open, use the modifiers to orient the canvas to your needs. Creating the curved surface. In the interest of saving time, and since this video is more about creating panel lines, I'll speed through this section. I'll leave this part as the video as it is part of the overview. Tracing our reference material. Hide the bodies so that only the canvas is showing. This makes it easier to focus on the canvas. Bring the line tool up and create a sketch on the same plane you inserted the canvas on. In our case, it was the top bird's eye view. Begin tracing the panel lines. I usually extend the sketches beyond the edges of my curved surface to compensate for the curvature when cutting. Projecting the lines we just drew to the curved surface. Bring back your sketch palette by creating a sketch. I usually type L for line and pick the same plane the sketch tracings are on. From there, move to the Create tab above and scroll down to the Project command. Expand Project and select the Project to Surface option. From here the Project command will ask for two things. Face and Curve. For the face, highlight the surface you'd like to make the panel lines on. For the curve, select each of the panel lines you previously drew on the canvas. As you select each line you drew, you will see a corresponding red line appear on your model with the curvature calculated. Click OK when finished. While it is not important for this video, you should know that every move you make is recorded in the design history at the bottom of the screen and every new item you create is created on the browser tree to the left of the screen. If capture design history is turned on, you can go back to any step of your process and make changes and Fusion will calculate those changes downstream. If you're in a situation where you do not know what function is associated with your cursor, hit the escape button. This will free your cursor. If you've made a small mistake, hit Ctrl-Z to undo the last item. Now, we have lines on our model that match the curvature of the surface. The last thing to do is to cut grooves into the surface of our model using the lines as a template. We will achieve the cuts using the Pipe command. Under the Create menu, select Pipe. For the section size, I usually use 0.2. This number will vary according to your needs and the scale of the model you're building. Also, if you're 3D printing, you will need to experiment with different sizes that your printer can print. FDM printers may need a slightly larger number while SLA printers can handle a smaller value. For the operation selection, pick Cut. Finally, highlight one of the projected lines or red line and select OK. 
Unless the lines have a continuous pathway, you will have to perform each cut individually. After making your first cut, Fusion will remember the parameters of that cut so that the following cuts will only be clicks of your mouse. We've reached the end of this video. Jack, thank you for your request and supporting the channel. I hope this helps. If your name isn't Jack, thank you for sticking around and supporting the channel.